Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Top10Gamer.com and today I'm super excited because I have another gaming mouse to bring in, bring in front of you. Now maybe you're not as excited, you don't like gaming mice as much as I do, but I'm just obsessed with the accuracy and consistency that I can get out of my gaming mouse. And for that reason, I take just about any sample that any manufacturer will give me. Well today we have a really good one. It's the Myonix Castor, a brand new mouse geared towards FPS and Twitch sensitive gamers. Now, you might have seen other bigger YouTubers do a video on a mouse like this, but hopefully as someone who's already used this mouth, mouse for over 60 hours, something that I guarantee you they haven't done, hopefully I can provide you with that additional insight and information you're looking for. One of the best ways that I have as a reviewer of making it so that you can understand exactly how the gaming mouse is going to be is to put it side by some side with something that you're familiar with. And many, many gamers are familiar with the Razer Death Adder. This is the 2013 version, not the Chroma version, but pretty much the same except for the LED lighting options. So I thought I'd put these in front of you so you can have a very close look at the shape of the two. Uh, there are some very subtle differences in the shape, and that's what we're going to talk about first. Uh, the main one being for me, the grip, the side grip, okay? It may look like the Death Adder comes in farther in this video and in this picture. And it does at the very top of the mouse. But as I turn the uh, caster, what you're going to see is an indentation, okay? That indentation actually makes it so that you pretty much go in just as far or farther than the death adder. Now, it was a little off-putting for me at first, but what it kind of did was something that I really, really liked, and I, and I got to give props to Myonix for this. It really made it so that I had better grip, okay? And, and my little different hybrid grips, whether it's claw, fingertip, or palm you're going to use, you're going to get slightly better grip out of the caster than you do out of the Death Adder. That's saying a lot. Uh, in our poll on the best FPS gaming mouse, Death Adder is still number one. And I've done this poll for about five years in a row, and it's been number one for five years. So me saying that is a big deal. We've had I've had over 100,000 voters in various polls over the last five years voting for the Razer Death Adder. So that just gives you an indication of how popular that gaming mouse has been and become. And people get upset when you mess with it. But I think with the caster, you've got a few positives. And I think with the caster, you've got some things that a few people will like better than the Death Adder. Let's talk about what those are. First, the side grip extends all the way to the top and then side to side. I'm not sure how clear that is in the video when I put it up like that. But it goes all the way there. With the Death Adder, you just get that little little semicircle there, a little half circle. Okay, so what that does is if you have, if you're using your thumb clear back here, it's just gonna give you, again, more grip. All right, the profiles are slightly different of these two mice too. The Death Adder is just a little bit longer. I think you can see it there. And it's actually a little bit taller too. Death Adder is just a little bit taller. So, Underneath, looking at the bottom of these two gaming mice, the feet are a little bit different too. I think Razer, compared to the Myonix Caster, went a little bit cheap on their feet. Now, to me, when I'm gaming, they feel very much the same in terms of their slips. So, does that really matter? I don't know. Uh, you'll have to decide whether that matters or not, but clearly the Myonix extends further and has a lar larger area of coverage than the Death Adder. Other things to note, uh, the caster also does a lot of the same things that the Death Adder does for software. Uh, namely, you can change the color uh, just like you could with the Razer Chroma. Now, I don't have the Chroma because I have the 2013. Again, they're close enough where I wouldn't do that. But uh, in the software, you can do many of the same things with the caster that you can do with the Death Adder. Okay, let's get up and close with the Myonix caster software. First of all, I really like this software in general. It's not as bulky as some of the other softwares that you download from companies that make you like sign in every time just so you can adjust it. 
uh, it's really not going to do that. It's not going to interfere with what you're doing. Uh, in 2015, 2016, here on out, you should be able to expect if you've got LED lighting to be able to customize the type of LED lighting to match, you know, your backlit keyboard or your PC. It does this with the caster and you can also check out the lighting effects here, the LED effects. Uh, I actually find these annoying just about uh, in any way, shape or form. I just do the solid, but hey, that's up to you. You can also adjust sensor performance here, DPI settings, lift distance, pointer speed. There's an, even an analyze tool that allows you to analyze the surface you're using and see how well the caster works on it. I'm using a cloth mouse pad, so for me, uh, 90% uh, was as, about as good as it did in any of the tests, and I was happy with that. You can also adjust your macro settings and your mouse settings, and of course, you've got the profiles as well. Uh, this thing's going to go anywhere up to 10,000 DPI. You can add back in acceleration if you prefer that, although I think the whole point of going with a mouse like this is to get rid of the built-in acceleration. Uh, but uh, it's pretty cool that you have all of these ways to adjust the mouse. I found it just fine the way it came, but uh, that's just my uh, personal preference. All right, so just to wrap it up, a few other things that are different between the Razer Death Adder and the Myonix Caster. The Myonix Caster is about 10 grams lighter, so it's under 100 grams, and you can use this thing pretty much all day and you won't fatigue, and I like that about it. A lot of these companies that are selling these cheap gaming mice, you can get a gaming mouse with weight tuning in the $15 category. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it's expensive or even a good thing. I don't see the importance of it personally, uh, especially when you're playing over a long period of time. If you guys want that, you'll need to look elsewhere. Uh, build quality. It just seemed like Myonix put just a little more time and effort into their mouse. Again, the rubberized grips extend. The feel of the caster, the, the plastic feel, like on top and around, it feels very uh, velvety would be the only way to describe it. The Death Adder feels a little bit this way too, uh, but uh, just a little more quality uh, overall, I think. Uh, in terms of sensor, both of these uh, gaming mice have flawless sensors. If you want to go into depth on that, you can go to the website. I put a link up in the upper right-hand corner where you can go learn more about the sensors. I've done a full written review on this as well that has just a few more comparisons than I'm going to do in this video. Okay, so final consensus on this thing. You know what? There's about 10 gaming mice out there that uh, I would highly recommend. This mouse is now on this list. And when we go to do our best gaming mice of 2016, sorry, for FPS, this will absolutely be on the list. And you know what? If it's me, it's on the top of the list. I'm going to be moving my Razer Death Adder off of my desk and installing the Myonix Caster as the, my main gaming mouse of choice right now. You know, I didn't think that I was going to say that when I got this mouse. And even when I first put my hands on it, I thought, you know what? I can't get used to this shape. I'm so used to that Death Adder shape. But you know what? Uh, even the little subtle pinky rest on the right side. Uh, everything about it just meant grip. And as an FPS gamer, grip to me just means a little bit more accuracy. Uh, it's made specifically so that you can use a claw, fingertip, or palm grip. Now, one thing I will say about that is if you have a very specific claw grip, right, it's not going to be the optimal shape. It can't be the optimal shape for all three, but it does all three rather well. So if you're like me and you, sh you kind of shift your grips from time to time, and you don't want to be changing in and out mice, then it's going to do very, very well. I think that Myonix has priced it appropriately at $69.99, just about the same price as the Death Adder, which I found for about $65 today. All in all, uh, I think it's a fantastic option. If you guys want to learn more about gaming mice, I'm also going to put a link in the description below to a Geek Hack URL that has a list of flawless sensor gaming mice. This uh, the sensor they use for this mouse is on there as well, and hopefully we'll get added to that list soon. You can also ask me any question in the comment section below about this mouse or other gaming mice. Uh, I think my um, this mouse is uh, improved in my opinion uh, versus the uh, AVR 7000 that they put out before, just in terms of shape. Again, when you get to this level with where all the mice. When we're talking about mice that have flawless sensors, it's going to be your personal preference, your weight preference, and shape. 
So this one is just feels like a lot like the Death Adder, but maybe a little better in certain areas if that's your preference. Again, go to our website at top10gamer.com for more information. You can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash top10gamer. Tweet to me at top10gamer. I love it when you guys tweet to me. I'll get back to you right away. Try to answer best I can. If I ignore you, then I probably don't know the answer or something like that. And that does happen. So anyway, hope you guys are having a great day and we'll see you next time.